Brand new revelations about the fiery and the Branch Davidian compound near Waco are setting off fires of a different sort. The recent discoveries are adding credibility to some groups that say this has been a cover-up since day one. KB24 Shelton Green joins us now with more. Shelton, after looking at the new evidence, some of these groups must be saying, we told you so. Absolutely, Walt. When the Branch Davidian compound went up in flames six years ago, the FBI swore its agents never launched incendiary devices inside. But now their own footage, which just surfaced, is proving the agency wasn't telling the whole truth. The FBI says this footage and radio traffic was overlooked for six years during the Waco fire investigation. And it suggests the FBI was planning to use incendiary devices during the raid. Utilizing track for cover and attempt to penetrate it with uh, military routes. Arrived, of course, if there's the water underneath, it's just going to extinguish them, but we can try it. Byron Sage, the FBI's lead negotiator at the time, says use of incendiary tear gas was no secret in Washington. This tactical net, as it's referred to, would have been monitored at the command post, would have been monitored, uh, I would believe. Uh, and all the way up to and possibly the uh, Washington, D.C. area. A former FBI profiler says this intense new interest could be dangerous. People that want to believe their government's against them, it's given them new fuel to believe that again. In Waco right here. Radio talk show host Alex Jones says the government can't be trusted. Well, from day one, there's been massive evidence. Uh, the crime that the federal government engaged in at Waco uh, wasn't very cleanly done. And... Thank God there are a lot of good people in the government that leaked this information. Information that's igniting the fires of Waco once again. Apparently another aerial tape from the fiery day in Waco has resurfaced. And the FBI spokesperson says the agency hopes to release it tomorrow. Walt. Okay, Shelton, this new evidence will be the topic of Nightline tonight, immediately following KVU 24 News. The Branch okay. Davidian Church rebuilding effort continued today, despite some unwanted publicity yesterday. Volunteers were still working hard to complete the church earlier today. But yesterday's Ku Klux Klan rally to protest the federal government's involvement in the 1993 siege was still in the Davidians' minds. Well, we didn't want to encourage them to come, and we didn't encourage them to come out here after the rally, and we did not go to the rally. We feel that God's the one who's taking care of us, and let's to continue to do it. We don't need the Ku Klux Klan. Davidians say the Klan came by the compound last night after the rally. The Davidians made it clear the Klan was not welcome. Davidian supporters say no donations from the Klan were accepted.